Good morning. So um, I thought I would take this video to um, make a suggestion for people. Um, we all have cell phones, most of us. Um, if you have an Android phone and you have a Google account tied into this, this video is going to be more for you. Uh, if you have an Apple phone, um, I'm sure it does it, but I, again, I don't know the Apple products well enough to even begin to give that. So, um, but this is really for more of the um, Android phones, uh, which use Google. If you have a computer, laptop or a desktop, and your phone, hopefully your phone and your computer are using the same email address um, so they can share information back and forth. This is critically important for something like this. Now, of course, this is not going to work very well for my studio account, um, but let me give you a quick review here. There it goes. So you go into Google and we all got our email addresses, right? So you go over here on your nine dots, you go into contacts. Now, of course, this one's not gonna have any contacts in it because I don't use it for anything but for studio and, and so on and so forth. But here's what you do. This is your contact list and it's your meet, uh, frequently contact and merge and fix and so on and so forth. If your phone is using the same email address as your computer, your contacts from your phone will be on your computer through the Google contacts. Um, this is going to be of a great benefit, especially this time of the year. We really once a year should go through our contacts, you know, update the addresses, update phone numbers if they need to be updated, uh, getting rid of ones that are bad, uh, so on and so forth. And it's so much easier to do it through the computer than it is through the phone. Um, you could spend, and in my case, when I go to do my main account, um, I have like 800 contacts in that phone. I would rather do it on a computer. Um, but it shows all the list here of all your contacts. Now like frequently contacted here. Um, here's my frequent list. Uh, and then you can just go in and like edit. You know, you could export it, you could print it, you could delete it, but you can go in and edit, um, start it to make it important so it shows up to the top of your list. Um, these are frequent contacts, I would have to add it. Um, and I'll go ahead and do that. And then there's the edit. And then I can add all the information in there that I want to add um, in relationship to that. Uh, you know, I can put a phone number in, a name, company name, so on and so forth, show more. Um, and it gives you a whole lot of more information. Uh, including birthdays, relationships, chat IDs. Uh, this internet call here is for Google Duo uh, or previously Google Hangout. Um, but I'm told that you could probably put like WhatsApp phone numbers and kick phone numbers in here. Don't know. Uh, and notes. Um, so yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff here that you can do uh, with your Google contacts. And especially if it's tied into your phone on the same email address, uh, then you can go through and actually edit your contacts on your computer. When you do that, it will transfer your phone and vice versa. The nice thing about this also is we all hate losing our contacts when we get a new phone. Um, a lot of us, uh, if you are using the, the Galaxy or the Samsung um, brand of phone, you know, there's that um, Samsung Switch software, which will allow you to transfer from one Samsung phone to another uh, with no get difficulties. But if you're going from an LG to a Galaxy or an LG to something else, Google is going to be your answer there. So you would just put your Google account into the new phone and all of it transfers over. Um, so again, like I said, contacts and kind of nice to do it that way. And then once you've got all of your contacts up to date and so on and so forth, if you're using Outlook, um, if you're using IMAP protocols and if you're not sure, um, it, it, that'll be a different video. If you're using IMAP protocols, your contacts should automatically sync. Um, but if they don't, uh, what you can do is export your contacts. And you'll want to put them in Outlook CVS. Now, if you're not sure, you know, if you're not using Outlook, say you're using another program like we've recommended EM client for some other clients, um, you'd still want to put it in a CVS format. It doesn't matter which one uh, because, or I'm sorry, CSV format. Um, 
and then you could go to your email program and import those contacts that way. Um, but yeah, um, I know that's the biggest thing I see throughout the years. Um, hey, I got a new phone. This is my phone, uh, phone number. Send me back a message or send me your contact information. If you have a Google account signed in and you know your Google email address and password on your new phone, you just put that information in, boom, it syncs up. If you update it on your phone, um, so you get a new contact on your phone, you don't have to go into Google and update it there. Um, again, whatever changes you make on your phone will appear on your Google account. Um, so th that's the advantage. And like I said, the nice thing is if you lose your phone, um, you can always come into the Google account and get your your contacts that way. Bad thing is you lose your phone. Anyone who's got access to your phone can get, <laughs> get your contacts anyway. So um, that's not so much of a problem around here, but I've seen it happen in the past. So, but yeah, um, this is the time of year. It's the beginning of the year. Go through your contacts, uh, clean them up, you know, put new phone numbers in, delete the old ones, um, update addresses if you need to. Um, you know, and stuff like that. And it's a really nice, handy thing to do. Like I said, if you're going from one phone to another this year, or you're planning to do it, if you do it through Google, the nice thing is, is it's there for you waiting when you make that transition. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So, um, of course, if you're making a transition, get an SD card too. It's faster that way. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was my, uh, uh, video for today for that, uh, uh, for contacts, I wanted to bring that up because I, it hasn't been really a big issue, but I wanted to bring it up because I didn't want to forget it. Um, so yeah, update your contacts. Uh, make sure you got, you know, current phone numbers, delete the old ones out. Nothing's like getting a strange random phone call. It says for John Smith and you're like, Hey John, how are you? And it's Bob something, uh, because that phone number is no longer in use and this person has it now. And yeah, makes for all sorts of confusion. So um, yeah, just update your phone contacts. Uh, you, like I said, if you've got a, a Android phone, you should be able to go through your Google account and do that. It's so much easier to do it on a computer. Um, but if you do it on your phone, it will update onto Google. So there you go. If you found this useful, like, share, and subscribe. Oh wait, I got a whole video on how to do that now. <sighs> yes. There's a little clip after this. Show you how to do this. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Hey, I want to tell you to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. It's important because if you're not liking and sharing the videos and subscribing to the channel, I don't get paid. Then I have to harass you for money. So anyways, let me show you how to do that. Underneath the video, over here, thumbs up, thumbs down. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can do a thumbs down. It's okay. And then there's a subscribe button over here. Click that. That way you get notices every time I post up videos. They'll show up here in your bell every time you come to YouTube. That's how you do it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Talk to you later.